Hello, I'm Kel. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to connect uh, the Astrom meter with uh, Deye hybrid inverter. Okay, and uh, let's see this one. This one is uh, our, our single phase 5 kilowatt uh, hybrid inverter. Uh, it is, uh, it is uh, the Sun uh, 5K SG, SG04, a new series. And let's see the, his appearance. So this one is uh, different with the SG03. This one is the SG04. Now here is uh, the, let's see we can hear. Now here is the connection area. Here is the grid port. Here is the grid port and the load port and the generator port. <coughs> And this is uh, the CAN communication port. CAN port. It is used to communicate with uh, this battery. This is the Palantec battery. Palantec US 2000. And also, it gives you IS485 port. This port also is used to communicate with the battery. And here is the meter port. This meter port, it can uh, communicate with uh, the the, the CHNT chant meter or the instrument meter. Today we are using this meter, instrument meter, and uh, you can find uh, the uh, the meters information on our catalog and the user menu. Uh, for saving the time, I already did the connection. Um, and as we know, if you buy the the e hybrid inverter, uh, we will give you a CT by default. And here is the CT we use by default. For single phase, we will give you one piece of uh, CT. Nah, this is the CT. When you use the CT, you need to connect uh, at the uh, P3 uh, three and 4. CT 3 and 4, and the white cable is, is P3, and the black cable is uh, the uh, P4. And when you you when you use zero export to CT model, you need you have to install the CT or the energy meter. Otherwise, it will give you the wrong readings. But for some client, uh, they want to uh, they want to use the energy meter because the energy meter can uh, uh, can measure the voltage and uh, the uh, the current and uh, the the power, even the reactive power, active power, the many things. Okay, let's see the the configuration. Uh, we need to go to here. Here you will see the extra meter for CT. This term means uh, you you will use the energy meter to replace the CT, and we can choose the the meter tab here. You can put your finger here, and they give you a cursor, and then you can use this change. This one, this one, and this one. Now we use this one meter. And then we tick here, is uh, the meter for CT. For this, you can choose uh, all of them, or you just choose the one face you which the, the meter connected. And also, we need to choose this model, zero export to CT. And when and uh, how to uh, how to judge the meter already uh, communicated with the hybrid inverter, we should uh, tick here. Here is the value CT. Now we it shows three seventy three volt. Uh, this value will be same with the meter. We can see here three uh, three seven two. Okay, three three eight <coughs> is the same. And also on the energy meter, it will, it will give you just uh, uh, just uh, a symbol. When it give you just symbol, which means the communication is successfully. <coughs> and here is the uh, here is the diagram here. It tells you the uh, terminal three, terminal four is for the neutral for the neutral line, and the terminal one and the terminal two is for the uh, live line. 
and for the IS485 port is the A, is the fab, uh, terminal 5 and the terminal 6. Uh, for the component, I already, uh, I, I already uh, printed, uh, printed here. Okay, this is the SD, SD, uh, zero, SD, SD04. <coughs> this is the uh, connection diagram. Here is the grid port and it goes through our AC brick and then input the energy meter here. And here is the output cable. Output cable and uh, connected to the grid. Okay, let's write it down here. This is the uh, sound. Five K S G zero four. And if you have a, a if you have a home load, your home load should should be on the grid side. You can put your home load at this port. At this port, here is your home load. Now here we can see the terminal one and the terminal three input, terminal two and the terminal four is the output. Okay, let's see. Uh, this one is the here. Here is the terminal three. Here is the terminal four. Now here is the terminal one. So this terminal one and the terminal three. This two cable. I connected to the grid. Connected to here. This is the grid. And uh, I go through this, uh, go through this energy meter, and I go, it goes to uh, this two cable, and I go to here, go to the grid port. And this is the IS-485 communication cable. And, uh, another, another terminal connected here. And uh, we also need to, this is, this is the pin definition of the, uh, meter port of the hybrid inverter we can see here this is the uh, terminal one terminal two is the b and the a also you can choose uh, pin four and the pin five and uh, pin seven and the pin eight and for the uh, community we suggest you buy the energy meter from the e directly because the Default, uh, uh, default setting will be okay uh, when you connect it to the, the air hybrid inverter. Here is the PF value. Frequency. This is the address of the uh, motor bus address. This is the boat return speed. The total energy. Export energy. There are a lot of, uh, this is the voltage, this is the amps. 2.1 amps, same. This is the active power, 372, 372. It's the same, which means this energy meter already communicate with the uh, hybrid successfully. Okay, this is all. Thank you.